We are the dollars and cents. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Well, tonight we're doing another unboxing, first impressions, and update video. This time it comes from a, a uh, fragrance I found at TJ Maxx. It was only $12.99. It's a 50 mil. That's a pretty good price. I looked at the box. I was like, there's no way this is just a cheapy fragrance. It had a lot of bright colors. It had uh, like a decent looking production to it. So I looked it up on Infogranica and there it was. The house was there and they have all of their... Um, all their fragrances right there online on their database. So that was awesome. I was like, all right, I got to pull the trigger on this one. $12.99, guys. So this this is called Fig Tree Flower or Fleu de Fig Figuier from the House of Solonotes, Paris. Guys, check this bottle out. Now, I, will, I know you guys are thinking out there, hey, uh, that looks like a women's fragrance. And I thought that, that as well. Per for Granica. Now, sometimes they do this. They like to make a lot of things unisex. We will see. If it's too feminine, I'll let you guys know. But again, this this box it looks really good. Looks like the bottle. The, there's a picture of the bottle on there, so it looks like the bottle's decent quality. I thought maybe this was um, that one brand. I'll have to put the name down here because I can't think of it. Um, but they made the, the fragrance. I am trash. I thought maybe it was like a side company for them because they have a similar little um, little design there. But uh, I could be wrong about that. But so they're called Solo Notes. All right, let's go ahead and take this out of the package, guys. Twelve ninety nine. Have you guys seen any of these at the stores? If you have, they have you passed up on them. So here we go. Check it out. Apparently, they have, they have quite a few of these as well. There's probably like, I think I saw like 10 or 15 of these fragrances. All right, here's the box. Here is the, the bottle. It says Eau de Parfum right there. We'll get to more of the information here in a minute. But that's, that's a good looking bottle. I do like the way it, it has like the stacked lettering on there. It looks nice. Uh, clear cap there. Silver step-up atomizer. Decent quality for a 50 mil a uh, little house. I've never heard of this house. This is the first fragrance I've ever tried. I love the the fig. Um, I, I love fig and fragrances, especially when they're nice and fresh. Um, so we'll see what we get from this one. But let me give you guys a little bit of information about this fragrance, guys. So Fleur de Figuier from the House of Solonotes is a unisex floral fruity fragrance released in 2014, I believe. The nose uh, is Celine Ripert. Rippert. And this is an Eau de Parfum concentration, guys. So the notes in this fragrance on top, we have black currant, grapefruit, and fig leaves. In the mid, we have fig tree blossom and peony. And the base, we round things off with cedarwood, sandalwood, and fig milk. Guys, so this is going to be very fig heavy. We have uh, a lot of fruit in here. I love black currant fragrances. I love grapefruit and fragrances. So this should be very fresh. I love fig. I don't know what fig milk is. So maybe it's like fig mixed with milk and they just, it's going to have a creamy bit to it there in the base, but it looks like it'd be very woody. I'm just worried with, with the box and the coloring and everything. Maybe it's not going to be unisex. Maybe it's going to lean a bit too feminine. We will see guys. Let's hurry up and get to the first impression. Clean hand. This will be my scent of the evening tonight. Guys, here we go. Quick couple sprays. Let's check it out. Decent sprayer. Good amount of juice. Wow. Okay. Very figgy. Very figgy and citrusy. I'm getting a lot of black currant in this. Mixed with that fig or the fig leaves. The grapefruit's not so in your face like other fragrances that I've tried in the past. But this has a lot of fig, fig leaf and a lot of black currant. Very fruity, very fresh. Um, the fig in this it reminds me of a lot of other fig fragrances, honestly, like Felicicos and those. So it's very green and fruity and watery. Like if you guys have tried fig in those fragrances, then you guys know what I'm talking about. But this one's very strong. It's very sharp. I like the sharpness about this one. I'm sure the black currant's really bringing that to the table. It's giving it's giving the fig an extra bit of sharpness, I believe. But yeah, I like how sharp this is. Now, um, if you guys don't know this, I've, I haven't met, I think I might have met one or two fig fragrances in my day that have actually lasted over four hours, maybe five or six. But honestly, fig, a lot of fig fragrances, they don't last very long. Um, maybe it's just the nature of the beast. I'm not really sure why. But this one has a little bit of staying power. There's another fragrance that I tried a while back from, um, and I don't even think I post that video yet. It's in my phone. I will, I will get it up soon. Um, but it's from Kim Kardashian and it's like, uh, I saw it at Marshall's as well. Um, but it comes in a little weird looking ceramic looking thing. And that one was unisex. I believe that one was a fake fragrance as well. Reminds me a little bit of that. I, I do also have a Joe Malone fragrance called, um, fig and 
like fig blossom or something like that. So it might even be sort of close to this one. Haven't looked at that composition yet. Or it's it's fig and lotus flower, I think. This one kind of reminds me of that one as well. Very, very fruity, very figgy, but very floral. I'm getting some watery notes. So I, I definitely, um, definitely I'm getting that, that Joe Malone uh, fragrance that, that, that I've tried before. It's actually in my collection. I just haven't worn it since last summer. But yeah, this smells really good, guys. I, I'm getting a lot of quality here. Strong fig note, not fading, it's there. Strong fruity notes, the black currant is fantastic in this. Um, that there's fig tree blossom and there's also fig milk. I don't know, again, that's gonna be in the dry down. The woods is not in my face, but it's, but it's there. Um, not a bad little fragrance right now, guys. This smells nice. Um, trying to see, the floral notes might make you think it's a little bit feminine, but honestly, right now, I'm not getting a lot of feminine vibes with this one. I'm getting unisex for sure. And um, I'm, I'm assuming whenever the cedar wood and the sandalwood come out more that you're gonna get a way better experience uh, when it comes to uh, more of the masculine side of things. But I could be wrong about that right now. Still early. But right now, to keep this first half of the video as short as possible, I'm going to say this smells really, really nice. I'm going to enjoy wearing this one this evening. It's all going to come down to the performance and the dry down, guys. Where's it going to go from here? Right now, it smells fantastic. Um, but again, it could be gone. Uh, Eau de Parfum, but it could be gone in two hours. If it's gone in two hours, I might be out. Um, but it's only $12.99, right? $12.99, I mean, you just... To keep it in your car and put some extra sprays on, right? So we'll see. But all right, guys, uh, that's going to do it for the first half of the video, guys. I'm going to wear this tonight and over the next couple of days. Give you guys an update shortly. Talk to you then. All right, guys, well, I'm back with my update for Fleur de Figuier from the House of Solonotes, Paris. And what can I say about this fragrance? I like it. Uh, now, yes, the price is going to be a factor in this one. Again, TJ Maxx, $12.99, I believe. Um, that will play a huge factor in this. Um, but I will say that I went on their website and honestly, their fragrances uh, retail are, unless they're having a big special, so don't quote me or maybe I'm wrong. You guys can correct me in the comments, but um, they were 17 euros, which is around 19 bucks, I think. 18 and a half, 19 bucks, something like that in American dollars. Again, they could be having a special. I can't read French. And so I was just going off of what they what they had shown um, there. But again, 12.99. Uh, if you get this in the in the states, and I couldn't find this one on the website, so it might be discontinued. So it might be even better that I have this one. Not sure. I'm gonna wear this one today again because I do like it. Um, so I'll go ahead and um, just get it on my hand again. You do start with a very very. It's very very sweet. Um, I did go to Fragranica after a couple of days of wearing this one just to see what people were saying about it, and some people were saying this one was sickly sweet and it could be cloying. Now I could see that. Um, it's just a fruity sweetness that's very it's very very strong that's a good thing though because honestly um maybe maybe you maybe it might be cloying to you or people around you in the first hour or so but after that it settles down and it settles down to something really nice that i liked um yeah just super fruity i think the black currant goes well with the grapefruit even though it's not grapefruit it doesn't have that that tanginess that grapefruit brings to the table that sharpness you get a lot of black currant a little bit of grapefruit citrus notes and some and a lot of fig um, some people for Granica said they didn't get any fig in this one, which is, to me, that's impossible because it, it's a predominantly, uh, fig fragrance to my nose anyway. Um, super floral as well. I will say it sort of leads, a, leans a little bit uh, feminine because of the floral notes. To me, I can handle them. Um, if someone were to tell me this is exclusively a, a, a feminine fragrance, um, and Fragranica just made it unisex because it's Fragranica, then I could believe that. But they said it's unisex. I can. I don't feel weird wearing this fragrance. Like it, it smells good, especially in the dry down. I'll get to that in a second. But yeah, it's. I mean, it's called Floor to, to Fig. Uh, uh, f f uh, what Floral Fig? I think that's what it translates to. Um, and that's what you get. You get a, uh, a lot of fruit. It's very very sweet. It's very very floral. Um, again, to me, to my nose, it's not super feminine. But some could probably think that. Um, if you don't like sweet fragrances, sweet fruity fragrances, you're not going to like this one. If you don't like slightly feminine fragrances, you're not going to like this one. Um, if you don't like um, fake fragrances, like I said, I got, maybe it, that gets, gets considered fruity. But yeah, you're not going to like this one. But if you like fake fragrances and you want to try something that's different, you might want to get your hands on this one, especially for $12.99 at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I didn't see any, any others from the house there. Maybe I got lucky. Not sure. Um, it did remind me a lot of Fig and Lotus Flower from Joe Malone. Not exact, but it did remind me of it. Um, 
but yeah, this one's just nice. A lot of figs, very fruity, a little watery. Um, I left my, I, I wore this in my car and then got out to go do something and got back in and it smelled like a little bit. I got a little bit of coconut, which there's no coconut in this, but sometimes fig can play a trick with your nose and make you think that there's coconut in it. Um, it's very nice and woody. The dry down is almost my favorite part. I do love the opening. It, it is very fruity and strong. The dry down is my favorite part because it's very woody. It's very, um, it's very, uh, it's a little milky because it does have fig milk. I don't know if that's technically fig milk or I don't even know what that is, but it is a little creamy. It's a little woody um, and, and, and slightly floral. It's a little musky. I don't think there's musk in this, but it gives off a bit of a musk type of dry down on the skin that I really, really liked actually. So I technically liked every aspect of this fragrance. Um, and the, the price is just the, the, uh, the cherry on top, honestly, guys. Um, but I will say I do like this fragrance. Longevity I got for this fragrance. People on Fragranica were, were, were saying, again, I, I was really dumbfounded by a lot of the things that they said because it didn't match my experience. I got six to eight hours of this fragrance. The dry down was there the next day. Like I, I wore it the night before, went to sleep because I sprayed my arms as well, went to sleep, woke up the next morning, smelled my arm. The dry down was still there. Now, it was the dry down. It wasn't like booming or anything, but I could still smell it, which meant it was still there. You guys can do what you will with that information. I'll say six to eight to be safe. Um, but again, for a fig fragrance, that's really good. Um, projection wasn't the greatest, but I mean, people were calling it cloying. So the first couple of hours are going to be strong, very sweet, very, uh, very floral and very fruity. So if you don't like, um, I just don't know how people are saying it doesn't have very good, um, projection, you know, on Forgetica as well. Well, this one, they're saying it's cloying. Technically, you know, it's, it's going to have a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of push from your skin. Um, but yeah, so the seasons for this fragrance, I'm going to say it's going to be hot weather, even though it is sweet. Um, you can probably even wear this one in fall, honestly, because the woodiness with that fruitiness could probably get you through the, a cooler day in fall, honestly. Um, but I'll say hot, um, not too hot. Cause again, I will, I will say that it could get cloying. All right. So just go easy on the sprays, but super hot. Um, I don't care. I tend to go very heavy on the trigger, whatever. I just, I like to be noticed that way. It's what I do. I like to smell good. Um, but yeah, so warm, hot weather. Uh, I think you can do this one in cool weather as well because it is very sweet. Um, and again, honestly, at the end of the day, wear when, when you want. But I think the, the fruit notes um, and a little bit of that coconut feel gives it a bit of a tropical feel, almost like a like a passion fruits in there, even though there's not. It does give off that a bit of that vibe. So, And I really like that with the florals as well. Occasions for this fragrance. I'm going to say a casual day wear. You know, you can probably wear this one at night, but to me, this one just seems very, very casual. Just wear this one during the day, shorts, t-shirt, um, just going shopping, just doing something very, very casual, going to lunch with your friends, having a couple of drinks with the friends. I don't see this one being like a sexy fragrance, a night, evening out fragrance, a dress down suit and tie, a club fragrance, something like that. This is totally casual. Uh, if you're on vacation, this would be great. If you're on the beach, this would be great. Um, yeah, so um, ages for this fragrance, I'm probably going to say, or, I mean, for the price, it's going to be all over the, it's going to be easily younger audience, but with the way it smells, the fig note, it's a little different. Not everyone knows what fig smells like. The younger noses, I mean, um, I'm probably gonna say 20 and up could probably pull this one off. I was, I would venture to say 25 because I don't know if, if, um, I think a younger nose would smell this and go, Oh, that's very, it's for a woman. But I think that this is easily unisex in my opinion anyway, but I'll say, I'll, I'll say 20 and up just to be, just to put it right there in the, in the middle. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm going to say this is a good fragrance. This is a cheap but good fragrance, guys. I know those are hard to come by sometimes, and I was really happy that I got my hands on this one. Again, it was the box that really gave it away. If I could find it, I'll show you guys. But yeah, I can't find the box right now. But yeah, the box really gave it away. Very colorful, had a lot going on, um, and it just kind of caught my eye. And um, I think it did remind me of, uh, was it called? Etat de Libre de Orange. Is that the name of the house that I was saying? Had the little, uh, I don't know if they are affiliated or not, but if they are, I can see how they are. Because this one kind of, this one sort of has aspects of like, I am trash because they're very fruity. Um, and they have, you know, the, the little 50 mil bottles. I believe it's 50 mil, but um, yeah. Um, either way, I think this is, this is a good fragrance. I think if you're at TJ Maxx and you see this for $12.99 or less, I think you should get your hands on it. Uh, especially if it's discontinued, it was on the website. I don't know. I don't know if it is or not, but I'm saying it wasn't on the website. You guys um, pick this one up. This is a cheap but good fragrance, guys. Decent performance. You know, you guys know all the things that I just said, guys. So, what are your thoughts on Florida Figuier from the House of Solanos? Have you tried this fragrance? Let me know your thoughts on this fragrance down in the comments below. Because I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking about this. Am I crazy? 
Am I, is it too feminine, guys? Am I crazy? Am I just really just trying to, uh, um, you know, find excuses for this one? You know, maybe, maybe not. I, I don't think I am, but who knows? Uh, I just happen to like it. I love fig fragrances, and this one actually lasts. So, let, yes, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching another video on my channel. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications for future first impressions videos and first edited content just like this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. There, you'll find first edited photos and future contest winners. And as always, until next video, you guys take care. Thanks.